Dawson Meadows with the video wire and here's what's out there. You know some folks collect classic cars, uh, others collect coins, myself, I've got a really nice collection of baseball cards and some beer bottle caps, Lance Beatty collects Masonic temples. Yes, Fort Smith based Beatty Capital buys a Masonic temple in Cleveland and the opening night of Fort Smith Temple Live is getting closer. Beatty admits that it's taking a bit longer than anticipated on the opening of Temple Live here in Fort Smith, but they're not opening until it's just right. Now, I for one am super excited about the opening. I've visited there many times during the renovation. Just an absolutely incredible building. Uh, I find myself on that stage overlooking a crowd of, well, well, empty seats, but soon there will be people filling the auditorium, and I hope to have a microphone in my hand and on stage when that happens. So, Lance, uh, if you need a house uh, host or, or MC, I got you. Fort Smith School Superintendent Dr. Doug Brubaker uh, is ready to address the career readiness gap for high school students, he told audience members at the Fort Smith Regional Chamber of Commerce first Friday breakfast last month. Fort Smith officials are seeing the first signs of a more willing partner uh, in the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency under the direction of President Donald J. Trump. In a recent tweet, President Trump stated, I want to love Fort Smith out loud, just like Dawson Meadows, and to start, we're waving over $100,000 in penalties from the consent decree. Hashtag no shit water. Thanks, Trump. <laughs> you're, 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 you're one of a kind. <clears throat> Read more on this and more local, regional, and statewide news at talkbusiness.net. We now turn our attention to things to do, and of course, it's very steady as summer approaches. But before we get into that, we are delighted to have a repeat guest back with us here on the video. Why, you know, it's not often that someone comes on the show and then decides to come back. So we really appreciate that. Miss Beth Presley, the marketing director of Arvest Bank. Arvest, a longtime supporter of Things to Do in Fort Smith and uh, very much appreciate their support of us and everything that you guys do in the community. Beth, welcome. I just want to say that I live and die by my calendar. And this morning it was, it was nice to get an alert on my watch that said, Beth on Dawson. Hmm. Awkward, <laughs> no, but, but seriously, you're here for a very serious cause today. Um, something that Arvest does now for, what, seven years? It's called One Million Mills. Tell us a little bit about it. Sure, we uh, do this initiative every year, April and May. We moved it to help support our food partners here in the Fort Smith community. Actually, bank-wide we do this and try to raise one million mil. So you can go to any Arvest location, make a donation or non-perishable food item, and help our food partners. So is this the part where we all get together and pack food into the... We, we've done that in the past, okay, okay. and then this year we decided to uh, just make a larger donation to our mm -hmm. food partners, which in the Fort Smith community area is Community Service Clearinghouse, the River Valley Regional Food Bank, and United Way. And you brought me a fork? I did. Excellent. If you make a donation to any of our best branch, you get your name on this fork, and we put them up in all our branches because um, cool. we're going to stick a fork in hunger. Oh, man, I love that. Well, thank you very much for thank stopping you. by, Beth. Thank you. All right. June 3rd, make a donation. Arvest.com slash 1 million mills for more details. Thank you very much, thank Beth. You. Thank All you. right. Thanks again, Beth. Always a pleasure to have you on. Please come back anytime. Things to do. Let's get started. It's Easter weekend, so all sorts of community Easter egg hunts out there, including one for the River Valley Special Needs Activity Center on Saturday, starting at 8 a.m. at the Fort Smith Event Center. Uh, in downtown Fort Smith on 11th Street. Uh, next week, come out to the old Shipley Baking Company building to hear Matthew Cole, a world traveler on a bicycle. Food and beer will be provided BYOB, bike, bring, bring your own bike. Starting April 20th, the complete works of William Shakespeare will take place on stage at the Fort Smith Little Theater for three days only in this off-season production. April 22nd, the Fort Smith Symphony presents Bonded, the music of James Bond, featuring Jamie Paul, the Art Best Performing Arts Center. April 29th and 30th, Tales of the Crypt will take place at Oak Cemetery, the resting place of Fort Smith history. Uh, this is in conjunction with the UAFS Historic Interpretation Program. Uh, come out to see students dressed in period costumes and hear the stories of those buried in Oak Cemetery. The event is family friendly and free. More details at things to do in fortsmith.com and of course more things to do at things to do in fortsmith.com, a website keeping you in the know on everything that's going on in the area. May is rapidly approaching, which means Fort Smith Western Heritage Month is almost here. Check out our website for a complete lineup of May events you won't want to miss, including Finishing off the month with the old Fort Days Rodeo. That's it for this week. I'm Dawson Meadows with the Video Wire. Keep it positive out there. Uh, if you love Fort Smith, love it out loud. And remember, this stash is for you. Not you, Beth. Just everyone.